Hey guys, Mr. AP here, back with the Let's Play of The Vanishing and Carter. We're on part number five here. Last episode, we just escaped the mines. Now off to wherever we are supposed to go, I'm not sure. Be a little bit of a exploring. See if we can go in this building here. Oh, we actually can. Never mind. We actually can't. Okay. We gotta find a key. What about. I think we can go in this building. And that water is really loud. in here somewhere this are missing a fire axe aren't we oh no it was a pickaxe last time in the house in the house okay oh it's oh it's next to some blood By the like the lift or something. Take the axe. Well, I know I don't. Notice it. Okay, so there was Is there another way to get like a fire station. Lift. Hope they don't make me come out here. For the investigation. One of the See if we have an axe back where it belongs. My dog. <laughs> and it's all outside? Really? Pretty safe to assume that these are the last two. The other ones are. Is 
this gonna be really easy and just be all <sighs> okay this seems like it's gonna be really easy. be all in a line so I mean uh you know I just have really good detective skills uh really good at solving puzzles <laughs> oh okay Mess that up, man. Why are you standing in the sleeper's way? She had an accident. Travis, put down the axe. An accident. I didn't want her to get hurt. Oh, so sick. You know, since Ethan found that room. Where's Ethan? God damn it. Talk to me. Okay, okay. He wants to burn Vandegrift's room. Look, Travis, just... Just, just leave me alone! Oh, God. Oh, God! The sleeper chooses vessels. You know that? To enact his wishes? He chose Mom. He chose me. Not gonna show him breaking down the door? Son, I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are gonna save you? Yes. Ooh. Didn't have to be this way. You could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. Mom's right. You're a coward, and you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. That did not go how I thought it would. Did he like? Take the scissors out of his body and put him in the lift. <laughs> oh, crap. Can you take me to that locked building over there now? But is it just going to be unlocked now? Oh, yep. There is. Okay. Alright, makes sense. Makes sense. You disturbed me. No. Travis, we can get rid of it. I know exactly what we're up against. Don't listen to what's in your head. This sleeper is feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Okay. Like the, uh, like the power room for the dams. Like, oh. Yeah. Oh. Stop all the water. Maybe I can go across here. This looks like... I mean, there's some water here still, but... Yeah, okay. This is it. I wonder what's back in that other area, though. Maybe I didn't do something right, and there's supposed to be... Something over there. Right. Where to now? Follow the path here. was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Oh. 
This is a nice area. A lake here. The mountains. Awesome. burnt down house here. Like it not too long ago, there's still a few hours. Is this a house? Oh. This. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan, I can't let you do that. Oh, well, gee, I wonder if Corvus. Okay, so that's got to be B. Oh. I'm gonna check out the rest of the house. I can't, actually, because that was the way I came in. Okay. Assume I didn't miss anything over there. Oh. Need these? I am not myself. Have not been myself. Voices again today, same as yesterday. This is most vexum. I tried to brick her up in the wall, but she fought me. In the end, I couldn't do it. Not to my wife. Neither she nor the sleeper is pleased. Now I must decide whom I fear more. Definitely your wife. <laughs> what I must do is clear to me now. The sleeper resides in a prison of death, and pain is the key. Sounds like some Hellraiser types. Oh man, I didn't even notice this. That's uh... That's gruesome. Let's check out. In the door. Alright, well that's gotta be one. Is this just linear again? These puzzles are getting difficult. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. 
I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergrift kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in their room. I can squeeze through. It has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. So did... Was Ethan just burning himself as well? I mean, we're in the basement. I don't think there'd be a way for him to to get out. Yeah. Oh, is he here? Got him. Ethan, wake up. You stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you... Are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. How did he... How did he survive the fire? Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Like a map? Oh, I'm okay. The traps, yeah. Just another one. That's this C thing. Okay, so I have a chance to go back, finish up the ones I miss. Okay, well, let's uh. This is obviously the end, but I want to get these secrets, so let's go ahead and start at the beginning. I'm glad they put that in there, it's instead of either having to redo the whole story, or um, having to actually walk all the way back here. Oh my god. It's so far away from the other trap. Finally. Oh, that took forever. Oh, that's gruesome. Let's see what happened here. Sap. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. <laughs> okay. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. 
the old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Okay, that was, uh... <laughs> Ethan, interesting. I told you, you can't be here. But, Graham, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Okay. That's <laughs> weird. about the fire okay well finally found that trap I guess uh we're off to that that uh I don't even remember what it was like a scow coal or a cow skull or something like that I don't remember seeing a cow skull Are we at the graveyard you know it pointed me this way oh this isn't even the graveyard the music oh god <laughs> people come here for many reasons they want to ask me questions about the future and i can see the future so it is the past that interests me if you want to find my house you must answer the questions i ask of you does death bring peace or suffering Yes. <laughs> How am I supposed to choose? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Yes. Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? No. Do you take that which you know you will not return? Sometimes. <laughs> Justice. Bow. Does sin come from the heart or the mind? Both. Oh. Well, that was weird looking. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared and the mother was beautiful again. Okay. Uh, this looked like it was not a good version of the story that was crossed out. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and no, I got a snake's tongue. And I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Why don't you just not be a bitch? <laughs> Instead of, oh, read this note every time I get pissed off. <laughs> How do I get back to the portal? Is it way? Okay, well that seems to be everything on the map, at least. I'm sure there are even more 
hidden secrets. But uh, let's not worry about all that. Maybe I can do uh, another video after this one of uh, getting the rest of the achievements and things like that. Christ, Ethan, you're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? Hey, Ma, he's in here. Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale. What the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! Wow. For God's sake. The dick. You missed dinner. I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad? Shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, wow. let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, oh shit. shit. Shit! Everyone, go! Get out! Ethan, get out! The smoke, it's toxic! Oh, oh God. no. What do we do? Oh, Ethan. Were we a story too this whole time? I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did, but my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? Dang. I hope his family feels like shit. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> that fire was pretty big. I don't know if, if that's even going to do anything. He's not even trying. I hope he's beating himself up after calling him a faggot. That was uh, that was a good ending. That was 
I liked it. Yeah, so we were, uh, we were just one of his stories the entire time, and, uh, Hold on, let me lower the volume on this. Ridiculously loud. Yeah, so, um... I hope you guys liked this, uh, this Let's Play of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, leave, a, leave comments down below. Uh, let me know what you thought about the ending. Um, and if you want me to do another video, um, showing the rest of the secrets, uh, there's a couple of, um hidden achievements that I haven't gotten in Steam yet. I can do another video of me uh, finding all of those. Um, but as far as the the story goes, this is it. This is the end. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed the series. And um, I'll see you guys next time on the uh, next Let's Play that I do.